type of beams based on their position so based on the position we can differentiate them as a central beam or interior beam and end beams or edge beams because in case of structure the loading on the interior beam and edge beam are different so in case of interior beam so this much portion of slab will be supported by this beam and the span on both side of the beam will be almost similar but if we talk about this edge beam here the span on one side there will be sufficient span and the load will be acting on only one side of the beam there is no slab on the other side so as a result this beam will be subjected to torsional stresses so if we draw its figure so it will be like this so this edge beam because the load will be acting over here the resultant of the load so this beam will be subjected to the torsional movement so that's why the design of this edge beam will be different from the interior beam we need to consider the torsion in case of edge beam as well so that's why we can differentiate them as a central or interior beam and end beam or edge beam types of beam based on their end condition so we are familiar from the structural analysis we have cantilever beam if once we have support on one side only and the support is fixed ended so then it will be termed as a cantilever beam if we have pin support or roller support on one side and roller support on the other side then it will be termed as simply supported beam and if we have overhangs on one or two sides of the supports so then it will be termed as overhanging beam and if we have more than two supports in the beam then it will be termed as continuous beam and if the end both ends of the beam are fixed so it will be termed as fixed ended beam and if we have one end fixed and the other end roller so it will be termed as cantilever simply supported or we can term it as a prop cantilever 